All right, I'm going to show you guys how to do the custom title block. First thing, log in to Onshape, create a new document, and you'll have this screen. You'll click the plus button on the bottom left. Nice. Okay, cool. It's picking up in the camera. Um, and you're going to click on create drawing. Now, normally we just use uh, one of the existing templates, but right next to it you see custom templates, and that's what you're going to click on. Everything on the left hand side you can keep the same. The things that you do need to change would be um, on the right side, horizontal zones, set that to four, vertical zones, also set that to four. And then for the title block, I'd like you to click on do not include because we're going to create our own. At first, it expects you to insert a part or an assembly, and we're not going to do that, so you can just click X, but then there's another pop-up that you also need to X out of, so click that as well. And then you'll click on Table, so if you don't see that on your toolbar, I recommend expanding your screen to make it full screen so that you can see all the different tools. Uh, we're going to set our rows to two, and then columns, you're going to set that to four. And uh, you'll notice that you can't click the check mark yet. It's like uh, shaded out. So you, before you can check it, you have to click somewhere on your document. Then you can press the check mark. All right. Now I'm going to click X because first, before I add any text, I need to modify the table. So this is a little tricky. <laughs> Um, what we're going to do is we're going to merge the, these two cells, uh, vertically. And you might expect, like, we want to select them. Um, and you might expect like, oh, I can just select like that, but that's not the case because it's going to select the whole table. So in order to just select these two, you have to like hover in this upper left-hand cell click from here and then drag to select just those two cells. And you'll know if they're selected correctly if you see the blue outline for just those two. Now, these tools don't have the labels listed in word form. You just have to hover over them until you see where it says merge cells. And we would like to merge these vertically. And that's where our um, logo is going to go. Now, the reference is here, so we want to have the logo, first and last name, our class, model name, scale, and date. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is select these two. You can see they're outlined in blue, so now I'm going to merge these. Not vertical this time, we want to merge them horizontally. And there we go. So um, now I'm ready to start adding text. Uh, if you want to modify the font, um, you can do that here. And uh, the text height is like the size of the text. And what seems to work well for me is 0 0.09. And let's see if it... Okay, cool. So you put your first and last name. And it's pretty standard to write in all caps in engineering, so... I'm going to do that. It's not a rule, but it's just kind of standardized. Um, next, I have uh, my class. So it's kind of annoying. You have to reset the font and size every single time. Maybe there's a workaround. I haven't figured it out, but um, oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. So I'll click back in the text box. So you're either in IED or POE. So just put the class you're in, don't put both. And I'll check that. And now I'm going to come down here. And I can modify the sizes of these. So let's see if I can actually. There we go. Um, the model name is probably going to be, it, probably going to need more space than the scale. So I extended that a little bit, and now da, 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 changing this again. Uh, 
Whoops. All right, now here. Um, I'm just gonna say this is, whoops, one to one. And I'm actually glad I didn't set the font ahead of time because I wanna show you something that you might run into. You do not need to change the font. Just make sure that they're all the same. Um, let's say this happens to you, you forgot to change it ahead of time. Um, and then you go here and you're like, okay, I'm gonna change it. Okay, I'm gonna change it here to be the right size. And it does absolutely nothing. Um, it's kind of annoying, but um, you have to, here, let me do that again. So in order to actually change it, you have to have it highlighted and then you can go in and change it after the fact. And I think I'll just write scale. Wow. And I, yeah, I guess in the meantime, I'll also resize it a little bit. Yeah, and this is kind of difficult even for me with the mouse. Oh, it looks like maybe I can only adjust the size from here. And, I, and the indicator is that little square there. That's my guess. But there we go. Okay, so it fits now. And now last thing, um, this is gonna be the date. And I'm good there. Okay, um, next. I need to add my logo. Um, so if you created a GIF previously as your logo, you can screenshot it, or if you have something else that you've created, um, you are welcome to use that. It doesn't have to be engineering related, just something that is created by you. Another option is if you don't wanna create anything and you don't have anything, um, then I will allow you to use the heart logo as an alternative option. Once you have your title block set up with all of the text entries, you are ready to insert your logo. To do that, you're gonna go up to the toolbar where it says insert image. And you, it, for you, it's gonna say, no file is available or something along those lines. And so you're gonna have to click on import. That should bring up your file browser where you can find an image that you have saved to your computer. I already uploaded one, um, so it's ready to go. And I will select it and now um, I can see my mouse turned into an X or like a plus cursor. And now I can just click and drag to size my image. Now, I wanted to point out something really quick. Um, I originally used this image and even though it has a transparent background, like I can put it here and you can see the gold outline of it. Like you can see the image itself go extends farther than what, like farther than the graphic. Um, if I were to resize it, by the way, it's easier to resize, resize when it's uh, not in the box for some reason. So I drag the image up above um, to resize and then I drag it over here. If the image extends beyond your box enclosure for your logo and then you export it, if what happens to me happens to you, um, it's going to translate the transparency into white space. And so in this case, it would totally cover up the lines here and it would cover up uh, parts of the text. And so I actually had to crop this image um, before I inserted it. So I cropped the image on my computer and then I re-downloaded it so that it now, um, like the outer portion of it is corresponds to like the edge of the graphic.
And actually, uh, before I put the image in there, I need to move my title block to the bottom right hand corner. Now you'll notice there's a black dot on one of the corners and that's the one that you can use to just drag the text box or the title block. And I'm gonna drag it all the way to the bottom right. And it's a little tedious to get it perfectly aligned, but once you get it, you can drag your image and then you are ready to export it. Now, there's a couple of instructions um, that you can get to by clicking on the Google Doc. Click on the link, the Onshape link, um, where it says custom templates and you'll get to this page. From here, you'll click on the exporting a drawing to a template and this has all of the instructions. They are well written um, and pretty concise, but I'm just going to walk you through it. So first we're going to right click the drawing tab and select export to open the export drawing dialog. So um, I'm going to right click on my tab that I have this drawing on. I'll click on export and for you it might be preset as PDF. Um, I'm going to select DWT. I want to make sure that the set Z height to zero and normals to positive is selected and then I will press export. If you, ha if you have different settings than what I have up here, you should adjust them to match. It also would have been a good idea to change the name of that file, but it's too late for me now. Uh, you can see on the bottom of my browser that I have a, um, a new file that's been downloaded. I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. And now, if you'd like to create a random model, you can do that. Um, otherwise, let's see. I think I will use, I'll use this one. Okay, so open up a model of your choice or create a new one. Does not matter to me. And let's see, uh, I'm gonna click on the plus tab and now I'm gonna click on import. From here, my file browser dialog or my pop-up is showing on my screen, it's not going to be captured in the video, but I have my file browser. I'm going to open my recently downloaded DWT file. Click on open, I can see it's uploading right here. And it's ready to go. It actually um, will show up as an extra tab. Now, following the instructions, you're not gonna just open that tab. Instead, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on plus to create drawing, and you should access your recently up uploaded um, customized title block document from here. So I'm gonna click on created by me and I can see, um, I should have renamed it to like this, but I drawing one. Press OK. And now you can see that my title block is there. Rather than having to recreate a title block every time I create a model, I can just adjust the text. And um, what I want you to do to actually turn in your assignment, um, I want you to put a model into, um, into your drawing document and submit it like that. So, I have this house model and I'm going to put um, a front view, a top view, I'm going to click my 
my first um, view that I put in there so that I can bring in the side view. And then I'm also, I'm gonna click it again and then drag diagonally to put an isometric view. And I'm not gonna be picky, but um, as long as you have a model in there, you're good. Now, I'm gonna adjust it to a line. Um, you're also gonna have to adjust your text. So this one, let's see, I'll just call this house model and then the scale. All right, so the scale, if you're not sure, like if you don't remember what it was, you can just double click on the original model that you selected and I can see it's uh, scale one to two. Okay, so I'll just X out of that. Whoops, double click here, one to two. And then um, today's date, check, and I'm good to go. So to download this, I will allow you to take a screenshot if you if that's easiest for you. Um, but what looks a lot better would be to go up to the three bars document menu and click on print. You're not actually going to print um, like using, like you're not going to physically print it. You're going to download it. And there's a pop-up box that I see right now. You can't see it on the video, but uh, I'll rename it. So custom title block assignment or whatever you want so that you can easily find it. And I will save that. And now um, it'll be ready to upload to Google Classroom. Now my reasoning for um, suggesting to use this method of submitting it is because the image quality is so much better than a screenshot. So you can see the lines are much darker. Um, the title block came out nicely. The logo looks fine, and it actually, in my opinion, even looks better than it does on the on-shape screen. So it does like a, a mini rendering of it. And that's it.